case of incident may have been tampered with. And the Kenya Union of Sugar Plantation and Allied Workers now wants the government to stop further importation of duty-free sugar into the local market. The General Sec Secretary General Francis Wangara, while addressing the press in Kisumu, said the government allowed certain individuals to import duty-free sugar to plug certain gaps, which he noted is no longer the case. He said the continued importation of duty-free sugar will also hurt workers and millers as well as their collective bargaining agreement as a union. According to Wangara, the trend will also affect other millers in the country whose shells, he noted, are already overstocked with locally processed sugar. The government is planning to, to extend the duty-free sugar import license for a, for a longer period which will have a very negative impact to us. And uh, it is unfortunate that when the companies are just recovering from what they have going, been going through, they have started buying the sugar stocks in their stores and they are not able to sell. When that happens, then it has a very negative impact to both the millers, the farmers, and ourselves who are the workers in that particular sector. We are urging the government to protect the sugar industry. To protect the sugar industry in a manner that they should not allow continuous extension of uh, sugar-free imports because we know that there are certain individuals who have been earmarked to benefit from these sugar-free imports. Now, the World Rally Championship entered day two in Naivasha, Nakuru County, with top drivers in the world battling to take the day's lead.